What's up everyone? So today I want to show you how I created this nice dashboard billing page you can use in your projects using Stripe. So with Stripe they have things called a, a pricing table and you can assign products to the pricing table and it will show up in a very nice way automatically. And also in this billing page uh, you can manage your subscription. So if you're SaaS uh, manage subscriptions you can set up a page like this with just a few lines of code uh, and be able to manage pretty much everything so um, you can even manage your invoices and payment methods so as you see here uh, this is all using stripe so you don't have to manage any of this or create your own functions um, and the products loaded automatically so in order to do this first thing you're gonna have to do is import this component uh, which I call a Stripe pricing table and in Stripe's API it shows you how to do this but with React you kind of have to uh, do it like this instead of just importing the scripts you have to use a use effect with the script um, and then in this you have to put in the publishable key and the Stripe table so to do this in Stripe what you'll do is you'll go to the dashboard of Stripe Uh, I would go in test mode right now. Go to pricing table, create a pricing table, and here you'll be able to select products that will show up in the pricing table, and you can manage the colors. So that's how I get this pricing table uh, set up, and it's also you can also use it on your home page. So like for this project, I have the home page set up uh, with the pricing table, and it will automatically show the features and buttons to go to checkout. Uh, which is good for conversion, so less friction when converting. Um, the other thing that your app probably needs is a way to manage the billing for your customers so they can unsubscribe or change their payment method. So in order to implement this customer portal, um, it's real simple. So first thing you'll need uh, is a button, and I have this custom function that uh, so we can click the button it goes to this custom link and this function simply I'll show you here so using the stripe SDK we generate a billing portal session with the return URL for a certain customer ID so if you don't already in your app you should have a way that per account they should have one customer in stripe um, and store that ID in your database and with that, you'll be able to add a customer billing session um, in your app like this. So this is a super neat way if you don't want to write all this yourself and handle adding payment methods, removing payment methods, unsubscribing. Um, super easy way. You can set up in about 10 minutes. And I hope that helped you guys. All right, see you guys later.